Is lighter fluid necessary to get your grill going? All right, today on Comparison Cooking, we are putting to the test, is it worth it to use lighter fluid? I've gotten a lot of questions from viewers, should I use lighter fluid? And today I'm gonna to show you exactly the proper way to light your charcoal chimney. I'm gonna show you three different ways, all right? Just using newspaper, just using those Weber cubes, and finally that lighter fluid to see if that's gonna help get your grill where you want. Today we are shooting at special location, my parents' house, all right? So we are going to give them the real treat. That's right, we're gonna use the lighter fluid on their food. All right, so stick with me at the very end. You're gonna see how good this lighter fluid turned out. A couple quick things before we get started. All right, first off, when you're dealing with fire and charcoal, I live on an island, so I'm always in flip-flops. This is a bad idea, especially when you're using a charcoal chimney. So make sure to throw on some shoes. Second, if you haven't joined our Facebook group, it is awesome, very useful, lots of helpful tips. We have Kingsford Stockade 49 inch smoker and grill. I don't care if you have the Kingsford, if you have a Weber, if you have an Oklahoma Joe, any type of offset, any type of smoker, that includes Webers, join our group one of the members was working with lump charcoal, which I'm gonna show you in just a second, and the lump charcoal popped up. So, as a precaution, whenever you're dealing with a charcoal chimney, I would start wearing some type of protective glasses, sunglasses, eyeglasses, plastic, anything you got to protect. When you start lump charcoal, it does have a tendency to pop and crack like you would hear in your fireplace all right boom crack it shoots especially with sandals and as we saw in our facebook group it popped up and hit somebody in the eye um, so you do want to be careful i haven't had that experience with briquettes yet uh, but with lump charcoal which can be a preferred method uh, it has affected and can crack and pop. So just be careful, take precautions, and definitely don't be afraid to use it. The reason we're doing this experiment today is I did a video a few weeks back saying never to use lighter fluid, and I did get some pushback. I still stand by my statement, never use lighter fluid in your offset box. All right, this is supposed to remain chemical free. I didn't say don't use lighter fluid in your chimney. I still stand by that though. I don't think you should. I've lit charcoal chimneys with one piece of newspaper. So why am I pouring lighter fluid on these charcoals to get them started? All it took was one piece of newspaper. Does it make it start faster? I don't think so, using the lighter fluid. The one piece of paper, the air, the gravity, fire wanting to climb up, that creates a fast charcoal chimney. The other thing I wanna note is some people in our Facebook group said, if you put a wood chunk at the top of your charcoal, fire likes to climb, duh. Uh, but so that wood is trying to catch faster and it's drawing that flame up from the bottom faster. So it heats up your charcoal chimney faster. I'm gonna try it today. I've never actually done that. So let me know if you've done it and you've tried that, put it in the comments below and if it helped. All right, folks, that's one piece of paper. It's been about two minutes. Obviously it's not red embered yet, but the point is the paper has burned out, the coals caught, so now they are slowly starting to come up to temperature, starting to burn. If I added two, three, four pieces of paper, it would probably happen a lot faster, but I just wanted to prove the point that this can be done with one piece of newspaper. So we'll keep a timer on to see how long this takes. We are about six and a half, seven minutes in and actually that wood chunk on the top trick 
definitely help move this along faster. Uh, we'll check back in another seven, eight minutes. All right, eight minutes later, we are burning hot, real hot. Can't keep my camera there that long. So a total of about 14 to, let's just say 15 minutes. There you go, 15 minutes, one piece of newspaper, you got it. All right, as you can see, I did a small amount uh, a full chimney probably still only would have taken another three to five minutes longer. Round two, we're going to use these Weber lighter cubes. Now, now basically what everyone's told me is this is just lighter fluid in a ball. I don't know if that's exactly true. I haven't looked that much into it. Uh, they show using two, but I just use one piece of newspaper. So I'm guessing we're going to be just fine with that. Lights right away. I'm actually curious to see once it starts to melt down, will it fall down into my cooking chamber? That would suck. All right, we'll check back in about seven, eight minutes. All right, it's been eight minutes. I don't know why we're going with eight minutes today, but we just are. The cube is still there. It is burning. It has not fallen down, thank goodness. Hopefully it just sticks and burns off because I don't want that down there. All right, we are at the 15 minute mark. Right, this is just about completely, try not to burn my camera up by getting too hot, but you can see this is ripping hot. Let's take a look at the bottom. The cube is all gone. Yeah, you see, we got a little bit left of ash, so I'll try to pull that off. Actually, let's see what happens to it. Okay, that's just, that's just dust. Uh, dust is not a word, that is just dust and nothing. I'll still clean that piece out off camera, you know, because I would never cook in a dirty cooking chamber. Yeah, right. So as you can see, that was very, very easy. Both methods took, you know, between 10 to 15 minutes one piece of paper, and then one Weber cube. Um, pretty easy. I know there's those tumbleweeds that people like, very natural, but one piece of newspaper? I get that for free in my mail every week. I get a ton of it. So it was super simple. Get yourself a charcoal chimney. Let's transition over to the lighter fluid. Let's do it. how you use lighter fluid <laughs> honestly it didn't get it going any faster than the newspaper or the Weber cube so I don't know why why you'd use it it still took about 12 to 15 minutes to get the embers really hot and red so it didn't speed up the process so why would I potentially risk getting chemicals in my firebox 
if it's not going to immediately increase the amount of time it takes to light the charcoal. I just, I don't get it. I don't know why I would do that. I know some people do, and that's great. And there is a proper way to do it. They say to soak it with the lighter fluid, light it, burn it all off, and you're good to go. I just don't see the benefit. One piece of newspaper got all my charcoal lit. What's wrong with that? Why would I need lighter fluid? So I am personally stating, do not bother buying lighter fluid. Don't waste your money. Don't risk contaminating your fire chamber. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and leave me a huge thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and join the conversation in our Facebook group because there are great people in that group sharing awesome tips on how to become a better smoker with your offset, with your Weber, with whatever you have. So I hope you are having a great day.